Okay, so I'm um, gonna we'll do a little uh, kind of unboxing-y kind of, not maybe a tool or a woodworking video, but a bit of a workshop kind of tech, shall we say. Although I am, let's say, you know, I, I know the basics of electrics, but the fact that I didn't want to be running cables all around the uh, the workshop, the fact of getting one of these uh, the kinetic energy light switches was uh, was very appealing to me. So let's get into it. Let's have a little look. So first things first, let's get the uh, get the elastic band off of it and see how it kind of unboxes. So first off, we come to the light switch. Seems pretty. Simple and basic, standard kind of size light switch, although much wider than kind of what I'd class as being a, a, a normal kind of UK switch. Um, you may notice that the lighting keeps coming on and off in here. That is one of the reasons because where it used to be a carport, um, essentially, you know, I've just got a, a sensor light in here. So uh, what I'll do in another video as well is I will share, um, I'll share the kind of the, the lighting that I'm putting in here as well, uh, and then kind of do a little install demo as well. Uh, fairly simple set of instructions, one bit of A4, two sides. Obviously we'll have a little look at that in a bit more detail in a moment. And then this is the, the main unit. Okay, so let's have a little look at the uh, the unit itself. So as you can see, we've got blue, uh, red and uh, brown cables coming out of it. Neutral, the live and the out leads. What looks like a, a small little LED light, which I'm gonna assume is something to do with the pairing for a kind of have a look at the instructions and also a control button as well on there. A uh, very small little unit. I shall grab a rule quick so we can see how kind of big this is. Cause this is one of the things I wasn't sure about. Um, so I knew this would have to be kind of kept away in a, in a safe box somewhere along the line. So we're kind of looking 50 mil, something like that across, uh, depth wise, you know, nice and simple, relatively small that one. So nice, uh, nice small container. Um, I couldn't find this information out online, which is why I bought this box for it to live in. So obviously we know it's gonna be more than, uh, more than big enough for it to go in. So keeps things nice and simple that. So um, from what I can understand from the instructions, the, uh, the switch, nice and simple switch itself Ooh, the right way up uh, it's just a click um, now I'm not entirely sure how these work from what I've read and understand is though it's all done via kinetic energy which uh, means this doesn't actually have any batteries in it this really is just kind of a, a click and kind of go method really um, it comes with uh, oh, it comes with a few small fixing screws should you uh, need that or it also comes with a, a 3m sticker as well um, I'm going to be placing this I think uh, over obviously near the main entrance door and I guess that will probably be uh, screwed in for me because I think that will be a little bit easier although I kind of like the idea of being able to have it mobile and just move it whenever I want to um, hmm. so to have a think about that one um, okay so uh, let's have a little look at the, uh, the instructions Okay, so these are the instructions that come with the uh, the switch itself. It all looks pretty simple. Um, it's got a simple little step, as I mentioned, about the screws or the tapes for the actual uh, rocker. And then over here, it does go into a little bit more detail around about the receiver unit as well. On the other side there, just the coding. So as I mentioned, the little button by the looks of it is used for pairing. I kind of click the two together. I'm guessing in some form, I haven't read them yet myself properly, but I'll kind of press that button and I'll press that button and it will pair it and then we'll kind of, uh, we'll go from there really. Um, this here, I'll see if I can zoom in a little bit on this one, just so you can see, Ooh, which way are we going? So that kind of gives you some of the tech specs for it, just in case you want to know what it is. Okay, so that's uh, enough of talking about it. Let's get into a bit of a bit of an install and let's see it in action, shall we? Okay, so this is the main entrance door here to the, um, Workshop, so I think it kind of makes most common sense obviously to have the, the light switch somewhere around about this mark now. As you can see, I've already popped off the front so I can get to the to the screw holes behind. So I just need to kind of work out what I think is a good uh, good height really to uh, to have it. So this, uh, I think logically, I kind of like about there-ish, I think. I reckon that's not too bad. So let's just do one little quick pilot hole. I 
That's nice and level, then all we need to do is click this back in place. And there's our light switch. Okay, so apologies it's a little bit shaky, but I'm doing this kind of handheld. So uh, this here is the uh, mains coming in. As you can see, that's the cable uh, here that goes out to the light and the first light being here. So it's quite simple, earth to earth, uh, live goes through to the live and then uh, the neutral just continues through to the neutral. Obviously the live also loops into the actual mains power as well. So, all going well, if I press this button, the light should come on. Hey, So much brighter in here, so much better. So to sync it, all you need to do is hold this little control button down three times, uh, for three seconds, sorry. When this light starts flashing, you go over to your main light and then uh, we'll, uh, it should work. So. There you go, that's the lights flicking on and off. Let's head over to the control panel, or the light switch, I should say. On, oh, sorry, off, on, off, on. Let's just do that again. There we go. I think we can call that a success. Thank you for taking the time to watch the video. Uh, please don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.